Welcome to this training course uh, dedicated to solar thermal power plant, to CSP plant. Our first video will be dedicated to an overview to see all the possibilities, all the technology that we have in this moment at our disposal to produce electrical energy using solar radiation. A solar thermal power plant is a power plant, a plant that produces electrical energy uh, using as the primary source of this energy the solar radiation that comes from the sun. Uh, this transformation, the solar radiation into electrical energy, is, mm, is not made in one step, it's made uh, step by step in, in different transformation. Uh, first of all, it's necessary to uh, introduce the solar radiation into a fluid. Uh, then, first of all, it's necessary to transform the solar radiation into thermal energy. Second step is transform this uh, thermal energy that is uh, introduced in a fluid. It's necessary to put uh, this energy in a water steam cycle uh, and produce steam. Then we transform the thermal energy into potential energy in a steam that has uh, some pressure and has some uh, temperature, that uh, has some enthalpy. Um, the uh, next step is transform this potential energy into cinetical energy or mechanical energy. Uh, this is made uh, normally in a steam turbine and uh, mm, the last transformation is transform this uh, mechanical energy into electrical energy in the generator. Mainly we have three types of solar thermal power plant, uh, also known as uh, concentrated solar power plant, CSP plant. The first one is uh, the, the, the first technology is uh, the possibility to concentrate the radiation, the solar radiation in a point. The second option is concentrate the uh, solar radiation into a line. And the third option is uh, using one of these technology, concentrating in a point or concentrating in a line, uh, in other type of plan and combine this other energy with the uh, energy that comes from the solar radiation. This third type is known as hybrid plants. The first option then, the first type of CSP plant, uh, are the plant that concentrate the solar radiation in a point. In this case, we have uh, two options. The first option, the more simple type, is uh, the parabolic dish plus stirling engine in the focus. Then uh, this is a, a very easy option. It's possible to do a little power plant, very small power plant, with a very small power, and uh, we can multiply the, uh, this little plan um, as much as uh, we prefer. Uh, are very efficient, are uh, very simple, but we have a problem. The problem is the technology in this moment is not enough developed. Uh, what will happen in the next future? We don't know. Maybe uh, this could be a, a very good option to concentrate in a point using a parabolic dish plus a steel engine. But um, in this moment, this is not a very good option for a large uh, power plant, maybe for a small power plant, maybe for uh, using in, uh, in a house or something like this could be an option. But in this moment, this technology is, uh, is not a real option. There are not large power plant in a commercial size. The second option, concentrating the radiation in a point, is uh, the central receiver power plant. This central receiver has a big tower, and in the, the top of this tower is located a receiver that uh, convert the radiation, the solar radiation that arrived to this point, into uh, thermal energy. Introducing this thermal energy in a fluid. This fluid could be water, could be thermal oil, or uh, could be molten salt. Mm -hmm. 
how is the functioning of this type of plant. It's very easy. In the, in the most normal configuration, this uh, uh, central reservoir power plant has two tanks with molten salt. One of them is the cold tank, the other one is the hot tank. Uh, from the, um, the cold tank, the molten salt are pumped to the top of the tower. In the top of the tower, uh, here, the receiver receives all the solar radiation that come from the heliostat, from the solar field. Uh, there are several of these uh, heliostat in, uh, in a normal power plant like this one. Uh, we have thousands of these heliostat. And uh, here it, it, rest, it receives the solar energy and heat the fluid and put the fluid into the hot tank. In the ton hot tank, we pump uh, this molten salt and this molten salt come to a, a steam generator. In this uh, steam generator, the energy contained in this molten salt is uh, exchanged and produce steam. This steam goes to a um, uh, steam turbine and the steam turbine connected with a generator uh, generate the electrical energy that we in terms of aesthetic, in terms of uh, uh, visual impact, these plants are very, very beautiful. The second technical option is uh, concentrate the solar radiation in a line. Uh, it's different, concentrate the solar radiation in a point than in a line, because the uh, concentrating radio is uh, very different. In case of a point, it's uh, around 1000. In case of a line, it's less than this, uh, around 100 or less. Uh, we have two types of uh, solar thermal power plant of CSP plant that concentrate in a line. Uh, first, we have a linear Fresnel. In, the, in this option, this first option, we have some mirror, flat mirror, that reflect the radiation uh, and uh, direct the solar radiation to a, a tube. And in this tube, we can have a fluid. This fluid could be uh, water. This fluid could be um, uh, thermal oil, or this fluid could be molten salt. In case of water, we pump this water into a line, and in this line we heat this water. At the, at the end uh, of the line uh, we have a steam drum, and the water is separate from the steam. Uh, we have a reduction of the pressure, and in the reduction of the pressure we produce uh, a flash effect and uh, the, the water uh, is uh, converted in, into steam and goes to saturated steam, this is important, uh, and this saturated steam goes to a steam turbine. Here we have a separator to separate the liquid from the uh, gas, from the steam, and um, here we uh, decompress this steam in several steps, in this case two steps, and after uh, we convert here the, this mechanical energy into uh, electrical energy. Uh, we need one water steam cycle, we need the uh, solar field. This type of plant uh, mirror in Fresnel configuration are a um, cheap option, are, uh, is very simple to maintain, is very simple to mount, this type of plant are cheaper than other technologies. In this moment, are underdeveloping. Uh, in this moment, this type of plant, uh, exactly this type of plant uh, that is in in, uh, in Murcia, uh, has uh, some problem, a little problem that uh, is possible to uh, solve. But uh, in this moment, um, the uh, the engineers are thinking that the maybe is a better option to change the water for thermal oil 
or maybe the best option is molten salt. Uh, there are in this moment some projects in the world, in China, in India, and in other countries that uh, use this uh, molten salt to uh, introduce the solar radiation in, in the fluid. In this slide, we can see the main values in the, ca in the case of uh, this little plan and which are the, the value that uh, is possible to reach. The second option, concentrated solar radiation in a line, are the parabolic trough solar power plant. In this type of plant, uh, there are a circuit uh, with a fluid. This fluid, again, could be water, could be uh, thermal oil, could be molten salt. And uh, in this fluid goes to the solar field uh, goes through one uh, one uh, mirror in a parabolic uh, configuration, and uh, here we concentrate the radiation in this line. The uh, the thermal oil goes in at uh, around 300 uh, degrees and goes out around 400 degrees. Uh, once we have the uh, solar radiation in uh, introduced in the fluid, we can change here in the steam generation train and we can produce uh, steam. Then we transform the solar radiation force here in the solar field in thermal energy and here we transform the uh, thermal energy into potential energy. After that, this goes to a turbine, uh, one or more turbine, and uh, uh, we produce force here in the turbine mechanical energy and after in the generator uh, electrical energy. We close the circuit uh, producing again from this steam that goes out from the steam turbine produce uh, water, liquid water and we close all this uh, circuit. And that's always the first power plant uh, parabolic trough power plant with uh, thermal storage We have a third way to produce electrical energy from the solar radiation. This third way is combine the solar radiation with other type of energy. Uh, in this moment we have two options. The first option is the combined solar radiation plus biomass and the other option is combined uh, to combine the solar radiation with a combined cycle, uh, in this case combine uh, renewable energy with fossil uh, energy. In the first case, in case of the hybridization with biomass, we introduce a boiler. The plant is uh, the same, that, uh, for example, the, the, parabolic, the parabolic trough plant, but we can heat the uh, thermal oil or we can produce more steam with a boiler that uh, born biomass. In case of use the combined cycle, what we, uh, the, the plan is a combined cycle power plan, uh, really is a combined cycle power plan with a little part of the energy produced with a solar field. Here in this schematic we can see that we have a, a, a solar field that produces steam and we introduce this steam in the heat recovery uh, steam generation system and uh, the, the steam produced in the solar field plus the steam produced in the uh, recovering the energy contained in the flue gas of a gas turbine is introduced all this steam produced in, those two, in these two ways is introduced in a steam turbine. This is an uh, image taken during the night in uh, Aymerimatar, uh, one of the plants that are working with this technology in Morocco. Which one is the best? What is best? Uh, concentrated the solar radiation in a parabolic trough, using parabolic trough technology, uh, using the central receiver technology, using linear Fresnel, using Stirling. Well, uh, this is under discussion in this moment. We have four options. 
one of them is less developed than the other three uh, of them. Um, parabolic trough and uh, central receiver maybe are in very good position in this moment because there are large plant uh, working without problems. Then uh, it's necessary to think about which, which, which one is better. It's better to produce electrical energy using PT or using CR. Uh, well, this is uh, under discussion. I prefer that you decide which technology is better than the other one. In terms of price, uh, uh, how much cost one plan, how much cost the megawatt installed of one of uh, these plan. In case of parabolic trough, this cost 5.5 uh, euros per megawatt installed. Is a cheap technology? Not, not yet. Maybe in the next future we, we can reduce this uh, this budget. Uh, which is the price of central receiver, the, the, the tower? Uh, in case of central receiver, uh, the price is more or less the same. In these two cases, we are work, uh, we are uh, speaking about plants with thermal storage system, then uh, around five million, with more possibility to reduce the price than the, the case of uh, PT which is the price uh, in case of uh, uh, linear Fresnel. In case of uh, linear Fresnel, in this configuration, uh, we have a um, very good opportunity to reduce the price. This, uh, the price starts in 3 million, and uh, we are sure that we can reduce this price in the next future. And uh, compared with phot phot photovoltaic, we can see that the price is very different. In this moment, the price of photovoltaic is very low, 1.200,000 uh, euros per megawatt installed. Uh, we can consider that the photovoltaic system uh, is very cheap, is uh, cheaper than the, uh, the CSP plant. But uh, remember that we have a very big difference between photovoltaic and uh, CSP plant. The main difference is photovoltaic is not possible in this moment with the, 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 uh, the present technology. Uh, it's not possible to store big amount of energy, only little amount in batteries. But uh, in case of, uh, if we want to uh, uh, store a big amount of energy, that is not possible. For example, to store the energy uh, for a city during one night, uh, it's not possible to do that with batteries. But uh, this problem is not a problem in case of CSP plant. What about uh, wind farmer? About um, uh, aerogenerator? Uh, the technology is also very cheap, uh, 1.200,000 euros. One uh, coal power plant is uh, more, uh, more expensive than photovoltaic or wind farmer, but uh, cheaper than a PT or CR, the CSP plan, uh, 1.5 thousand million for a big plan, uh, and uh, the number of hours that we can work with a coal plan is very big, much bigger than in the case of solar radiation or photovoltaic or wind farm. In case of biomass, biomass is a very uh, good option in terms of uh, renewable energy. It's a very known energy. Uh, it's a very known technology, but the price is expensive than a uh, wind farmer or uh, photovoltaic. It's uh, 2.5 million per megawatt installed. Uh, Cogeneration is a good option if we want to obtain uh, the energy contained in a fossil fuel. Then uh, the price is very low, 800,000 as an average, depending on the technology exactly. Uh, we can have a price or other one. Nuclear plant are very expensive. Uh, it's uh, 8 million per megawatt installed, mm, but uh, the fuel is, uh, has a low price. And the combined cycle uh, are a very good option to obtain a very big amount of energy and at the same time invest only a little uh, amount of money, uh, 500,000 euros per megawatt installed. We have seen in this video the, the main possibility that we have. We have seen that we have the possibility to have the concentration 
in a point, we have the possibility to concentrate the radiation in a line, and for a uh, third option, we have the possibility to, uh, to do a hybridization between the uh, solar radiation and other technologies, renewable, uh, like biomass or uh, fuel, uh, fossil fuel, like a combined cycle, to uh, produce electrical energy from the solar radiation.